Lewis has brought us a couple of stories on the bonus show about a woman who was in love with a roller coaster or a train and about people being uh, uh, enamored with inanimate objects. And he was on a TV morning show the other day and he said that he had made love to over 700 vehicles, including Mustangs, luxury Jaguars, and even an attack helicopter, Lewis, which is incredible, uh, such an aggressive vehicle for him to be making love with. Smith made the admission on a British family TV show called This Morning, and he told the host that he was a mechophile, someone who is sexually attracted to machines and prefers making love to motors more than women. He says he first did this when he was 14 with a Volkswagen Beetle, starting with a small vehicle, when he was tempted to give the vehicle what he described as a gentle caress. Let's hear from Edward Smith. The, the neighbors next door uh, had a, uh, had a uh, VW Beetle, uh, so when you were when you were about 14, um, not to put f too fine a point on it, that was your first experience of love with a car? Other than like toy models and pictures and the, and the standard uh, young teenager growing up developing their uh, libido, mm. Mm. Uh, I did, I did, I got tempted one night to just step outside and um, gently caress the car and and uh, it, it, it did something for me, kind of woke something up inside. He also admitted uh, that in October of 2013 that he was occasionally attempted to stray from making love to vehicles, but said, I know better now than to pursue other people's private property without permission. I will not deny that I look at other cars on TV or at shows and still get those impulses and desires, but those were the early days. Now I want to settle down. Yes, very, very clever. Uh, that's a good one. Could you say that an that a, an attractive convertible really gears him up? I feel like we're in an Austin Powers movie now. This is definitely a form of autoerotic stimulation, wouldn't you say? Very good, Dave. This is yeah, this is an <laughs> incredible story. Um, Seriously, though, what do you make of this? I mean, you know, we had that interesting I, I, I story. I almost envy this guy, to be honest with you. Really.